In this training video, we're going to look at the use of tabs within PowerPoint. Now, this presentation is all about business analysis, and I've got a title slide on slide one called business analysis. So we're going to now structure the, the set of the text of this slide to make it look quite spaced and neat to use tabs within Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, tabs could be used instead of tables. It's a different way of working information instead of tables. So it's an option. Some people like tabs, some people like tables, but tabs can do things some tables can't. So we're now going to look at setting up tabs within a text box. So what I've done here, I've drawn a text box. I've, in, I've in put some information called regions, and I've got the ruler displayed. So I'd always use the ruler for tabs to set a measurement for the tabs. Now, to turn the ruler on, that's your view tab and ruler. So that's how you get the ruler turned on. Now your tabs are under the home tab, paragraph section of the ribbon, and the paragraph launcher. And I click tabs, and I'm now going to look at setting my tabs. So I want three headings. So I'm going to have my first heading coming in at, we're going to try 12 centimeters. And the next one's going to come in at, we'll try 23 centimeters. So I'll have a left aligned. What left align means, means the right thing goes from left to right. So it goes, starts at 12 and it's going to go make its way across. Center would be both directions and right align would work its way backwards. So in this case, 12 is going to be left aligned, set. The next one will have a 23 left align set. So back into the measurement. 23 left aligned, set, OK. OK again. Now we've got two tabs set at 12 and 23 centimeters. So if I press the tab key now, I'm going to type in sales rep, tab again, and I call that sales value. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to start typing. So the first region is north, then we'll have the sales as Watson. And the sales value will be 45,003.30. Now what I'm trying to do with all the values, I want all the values to be aligned against the decimal place. So the decimal place is nicely aligned for all the values. Well, to do that, we can set what's called a decimal tab. So I've got a now, at the minute, I've got a left align tab for the value. I'm going to modify that to decimal. So Back to the paragraph launcher, tabs, and it's the 23 I want to change. I don't want it to be left. I want it decimal, and I'm going to set it. I can quickly check the tabs now. 12 is left. 23 is decimal. OK, OK. Now, what that's done, that's brought the information much further back because it's aligned to the decimal point. Well, I could bring the sales value heading backwards or I could bring the decimal point forward. So I'm going to again modify the measurement, and I'm going to say I don't want the 23 anymore. I want this to come in at, we'll look at the 20. So I want this to, to come in at, let's say, 28. So I'm going to change the tab for the decimal. And when we do that, you click on the tab you don't want, you clear it. So I'm going to reset it, 28, decimal, set, OK, OK. That's looking neater. Now I might want to move the sales value heading over a bit. So I'll now I'm clicking in line with the sales value. Paragraph launcher again, tabs. Now it's the 23 I want to set, I want to change for the sales value. So I want that to come over. Roughly one centimeter, so I'm going to make it 24. So I'm going to clear the 23, set it to 24, set, OK, OK, and that's looking quite neat. So I'm going to have a space after my heading, so I'm going to click after value and press enter. And then I'm just going to keep on doing some writing to finish off the regions and see how it looks. So I'm going to do north, then east, and that can be. David Jones, tab, and we'll have 54.9.45. So we can see the decimal place is nicely aligned. OK, 
okay the next is rep is kt 45 tab and last one tab we'll have So the information looks quite nicely structured, nicely aligned. We could do some nice things with the headings. I could make these headings a little bigger if I wanted to. So I might say I'll have them um, 32, format tab. I can put text effects against it. So I might want a shadow. I might want the text color to change a bit. I might want it bold. Take off another shadow. I might want it underlined. So that's beginning to look quite neat now to go within the presentation. Now there's something called tab leaders, which is available in Word, which is not available in Microsoft PowerPoint. We can still put them in slightly different ways. So I'm gonna highlight the space between the sales rep and sales value for the first region, and I put an underline on. But now I'm gonna change the underline by going through the font dialog box launcher. And I want the underline to be a dotted line in this example. Okay. Now I can control the the weight of the underline by actually changing the font size. So I can make the font a little bit bigger there. So I'm going to make it 32 in this example. And I'll change the color to red for the underline. So I'm now looking quite neat. I can now put some more underlines in. And then I'll just use the Format Painter to make them the same. So there's another underline. Another underline. And there we go. So Format Painter. And that should tidy it all up. One done. Two done. Three done. Okay, if I press enter now after the last region, I can still see my tabs are on at present. I can now clear the tabs. To clear your tabs, back to your paragraph launcher, tabs, and we can clear all. Okay, and okay again. And this concludes the training video on setting tabs, clearing tabs, modifying tabs, and adding tab leaders in PowerPoint using the underline feature. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.